Hi everyone, uh, thanks for being here. So my name is Camille, I'm a software engineer in the urban planning team in Erzwi R&D Center in Zurich in Switzerland. Um, I'm very happy to be here. And today I'm gonna talk about building modeling optimization using machine learning. So in order to start with the um, optimization part, I'm gonna show you a video, hopefully it will work, of a brand new tool in CD Engine. So as you can see here, we have a CD Engine scene with a single parcel. I generated a 3D model of a building on top of this parcel. A pretty nice building, I think, but not that green though. So my question now was, how should I place and distribute the balconies and window on these building facades in order to maximize the number of greeneries, number of trees on this building? Uh, yes, nowadays we can have trees on our balconies, that's awesome. Um, so as you certainly know, um, in CD Engine, well, it works, that's amazing, um, the 3D models are defined by their attributes. So by changing the attributes value, you modify the generated model. So now let's define our optimization goal. So we want to maximize the number of allocated space for greenery in this case and let's run the optimization tool. So while it's running, I can explain a little bit more what it's doing. So the tool is now going through many different attribute combinations um, and compute the resulting number of trees on this building, as you can see bottom right of the screen, the report section. Um, you may think it's pretty straightforward problem, right? But it's difficult enough to solve by hand. Uh, I tried myself and I did, ended up missing the optimal solution. So now it's done. Uh, as you can see in the report, the maximum number of trees on my building is 164 trees. For this set of attributes, balcony width 7 meters, height floor 3.5 meters, etc., etc. That's amazing. Um, super easy to use and yeah. So now, using this tool in CD Engine, we can achieve um, a specific design structure according to predefined optimization goals. But often, uh, urban planners, urban designers, architects have to deal with more complex uh, design decisions. Like, yes, I want my building to be green, to be sustainable, but I would like it to be as well financially uh, viable. So there is this trade-off uh, ideas here. Is that all? Uh, of course not. Uh, urban planning is not just about uh, achieving specific, specific uh, building structure, it's also about what am I allowed to build on my parcel, on my zone. This depends on zoning rules, zoning regulations, like for instance uh, maximum building height, uh, lot coverage, setback distances that are uh, the distance between the building and the streets or in between buildings, etc., etc. The, the list can uh, be endless, actually. Uh, so the whole problem is pretty uh, complicated, as you can see. So it would be great if we could have a system that can efficiently infer the best building structure according to predefined performance indicators or optimization goals, as I call them, while fulfilling the zoning regulations. Um, it's, it's a pretty universal problem here. Uh, many challenges in urban design are based on this, um, on this problem definition, like suitability, maximization, site selection, etc., etc. Um, site selection, for instance, it's about like picking, choosing the parcel or parcels that gives us the, the highest results, basically. Um, so I want to say, let's build a tool that will help us solving that. So I just want to go back first to the video I showed you at the beginning. Um, so, which is great with this brand new tool is that it can be used with any CG rule. There's no a priori knowledge about the, the, the model, and etc. That's great. Technically speaking, it's based now on an exhaustive search approach, means it's trying all the possible combinations of attributes and pick the best. 
Um, obviously, this can become very, very slow depending on the number of attributes you have to optimize on or how you uh, sample them. The goal of this tool in CD Engine will be to be fast and uh, efficient. Uh, so we have to work on a more advanced and smarter algorithm uh, method. So the plan is to work next on a gradient-based method in order to warm up a little bit, then uh, swarm-based, then evolutionary algorithm, like genetic algorithm, and then finally work on uh, machine learning, on deep learning uh, solutions. Uh, as you will see in the next slide, the deep learning uh, method will help us or uh, will be useful in order to model complex system, complex variables. So if we can build this tool uh, in CD Engine, it will help urban planners uh, in their design choices. It will assist them in their uh, decision-making process, which is, would be great. Um, before saying that I will uh, use uh, deep learning uh, in order to build that tool, I performed some tests on a um, simplified um, use case. Um, this is a six months project I did. So, as a reminder, uh, our goal is to find the best building attributes according to, um, the, based on a selected parcel. Um, I've noticed that in uh, some cases, the underlying problem was that we want to build the building the highest possible, basically. So in this problem, I want to maximize the building height as well as the FAR, floor area ratio. As we can see, there is this multi-objective idea here. So this is the main optimization loop. Uh, on top of that, I'm considering some zoning constraints, like ma minimum setback distances, maximum building height, and maximum FAR. So we have here uh, our whole problem. Um, there is one key thing here, uh, is that one variable is a dependent variable. So yeah, FAR is dependent variable in the sense that its value is affected by the other um, input's values. Uh, in CD Engine, the FAR variable is computing using the procedural generation of a model, but as I said, I need my tool to be fast and efficient, so I modeled this value, this variable, using a neural network. Thanks to that, uh, I now know the FAR value for any set of inputs values, parcel geometry, buildings, height, setback, distances. That's amazing. Because, uh, so the results were really good, they were close to the theoretical optimal solution, and the computation was really, really fast. So yeah, um, in conclusion, uh, we'll use machine learning or deep learning uh, method in order to model complex variable, complex systems, and implement a constraint, multi-objectives optimization algorithm in order to compute uh, the best building attributes. Thanks for your attention.